Hello there, this week on Weekly Focus, I want to think of something interesting, and this is growing old. Well, age is catching up with all of us, no matter what. I know we live in days when people want to remain young and renewed and full of strength and vigor, and uh, some will go for plastic surgeries and uh, apply all kinds of makeup and uh, chemicals on their faces and uh, hairstyles that to make them look young and uh, change the way they walk and uh, put on maybe high heels and uh, nice dresses and suits that will make them look young and nobody especially in Africa and all over the world who want to look older than they actually are. If anything, we all want to feel and look younger. But the truth is that we are all getting older. Look at your pictures when you are younger. 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, 5 years ago. Well, something has changed. Your face. The way you feel, you don't feel the same. So growing old is not a problem. It is actually a blessing. Gray hair is a blessing. Well, some of you don't think so, but it is. I want to say four things are important as you grow old, or grow older for that matter, if you don't like growing old. One, focus ahead. Well, there are people who live very miserable lives because they keep looking back and thinking, oh, I wish I was 20 again, I was 15 again, I was 10 years again, I was 40 again. And they say, well, things were better in those days when we were 20, when I was 15 and all that. And they forget what is behind you, you cannot change it. So focus ahead. Look at where you're going. Number two, as you grow old and everybody is, character is important. It is what you do today and the life you lead today that will determine how you grow old. I remember one of my uncles who died at around 90 years and he lived a very strong man. And one time I asked him, how come you're this strong? You still have all your teeth and uh, you're strong. You don't even use a walking stick. And he said, Okoro Oreaga Onini. In other words, when you are old, you enjoy the benefits of your youthful life. And I also know people who messed their old age by what they ate, what they drank, the kind of life they lived, their morality, some of them smoke too much and now they have all kinds of lung problems. Some of them drank and they, you know, they were in alcoholism and they destroyed their health. So by the time they are 60, 70, their health is totally gone. Some in drugs, others in sexual immorality. So it all actually destroys your years to come. You may think today you are enjoying it. Wait until 20 years from now. So number three, it's good to have a mentee, a comrade, and a mentor. Meaning, as you grow older, have somebody you are raising or other people you are mentoring so that they can become better people. And then enjoy your comrades. There, you know, you have people, you're in the same level, people you can work together, challenge each other, and uh, reason together and all that. Those are people in, the, in, your, in your level. And then you should have mentors, people who mentor you or somebody who is mentoring you to become because never think you know everything. And then finally, good health is important. So what do you do for good health? Do you exercise? Is there something you do for relaxation? Is there a sport you love to do and all that? Do you, are you careful what you eat? We you just eat what is presented. If you serve from a buffet, you don't, don't serve everything. You know, let me say this. Don't, don't put everything on your plate. Be selective. 
eat what is healthy for your body. If you go to a restaurant, don't just pick whatever looks big and, you know, large. No, think about your health. And if you do this, you will grow old graciously. And uh, let me close with a word here, First Chronicles 29 and verse 28, which says about David. He died at a good old age, having enjoyed good life, wealth, and honor. His son Solomon succeeded him as a king. So David died at a good old age. Other translation says full of days. And then he had riches and honor. That's my prayer for myself. I believe that's your prayer too. You will die full of days, riches and honor. And Solomon inherited him. Our sons and daughters will also mentor them so that they can inherit a great destiny. Have a great week. Feel better. Don't cheat about your age. Well, we can see or guess how old you are. Well, it's okay to be that age. Enjoy it and look ahead where you're going. God bless you and have a great week.